Hi everyone, it's Ashley here and today I'm bringing you a braid and curl tutorial. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. My hair is a little damp, I let it dry for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to apply my leave-in conditioner. Today I am using a Nasi's leave-in and I'm going to apply that to my hair from root to ends. Once I finish applying the leave-in to the section, I'm applying a Nasi's hair whip just a little bit to add some extra moisture. And same way I applied the leave-in, I'm going to apply the hair whip. So from root to ends, just to make sure that all the product is in my hair. Next, just running through the Denman brush to make sure there is no tangles. Now I'm going to apply Anasi's Custard just a little bit. This product here goes a long way. So whatever styling product you are using, make sure you know what's too much and what's too little. So with a Nasi's Custard, a little bit is just enough. So I'm going to apply that to my hair and get ready to braid it. Now I'm going to take the three sections of hair I'm going to use to braid and I'm going to braid my hair not too tight and not too loose, so right in the middle. The reason why I don't want it too loose is because then I'm not going to get any definition, especially not the definition I want. And I don't like it too tight because I want my hair to dry and I also just don't like it too tight. So I do it right in the middle. Now I leave about two inches of hair at the bottom and this is where I'm going to apply the permod. So I'm going to add a little bit more of the hair whip just for some extra moisture at those ends and then I'm going to roll my hair nice and smoothly on the rod. So this is going to give the curl look for when I take down the hair. So just smoothly roll on the hair to the rod and then lock it in place and that's it. So repeat those steps to the rest of your hair. I did about 12 to 14 braids all over my head and I just did the same thing. I applied a little bit of amount of the custard and left 2 inches of hair to roll on the rod at the end. done braiding my hair now time to let it air dry and a tip I want to give to you guys before taking it down make sure your hair is fully dry if not go in their dryer or let it dry for the rest of the day so now I'm going to take down my rods gently you don't want to just pull them out or it can cause frizz and then I'm going to take down my braids now to take down my braids, I'm going to apply a little bit of coconut oil to my fingertips. You can choose whatever oil you would like, but I'm just using coconut oil because that is my favorite. So I'm going to apply that to my fingertips and gently take out these braids. Now that I've taken out all those braids, look at this shine. My hair honestly feels so moisturizing good. I love finding products that make my hair feel so soft and really moisturized. So I'm just going to take um, each section and separate it one or two times. Don't overdo it or you will lose definition of the braid and curl. 
So just each section that I braided, I just separate it a few times until all of the sections are separated. And next, I'm gonna get ready to fluff. So now taking my hair pick, and if you don't have a hair pick, you can use a wide tooth comb. I know some people use their fingers, but I'm just gonna fluff through my roots to give my hair the shape that I want and also the volume that I really do want. And this style, I like it big. So I'm just gonna fluff it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna fluff it into the style that I want. So I'm gonna do a side part and also a bang look. So here's the side part. I just made a part on the side of my hair and fluffed it towards the ways of the part. And then after I fluffed through the side part I made, and just made more of a bang look, which I loved. Really, really loved. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, tell your friends, tell your family, whatever. And of course, thank you so much for watching.